Yes, folks, hello, this is your boy Vlogger Zupa. Snow in London. This is today's topic. Uh, I've got to do it because this is the first time I ever see snow in London and it's melting away, so I was up quite early. So I'll be able to show you snow in London. Vlogger Zupa. Vlogger Zupa. There was a boy who was sincero. There was a boy who was sincero. One more time hello, this is the voice that will take you along the walk and tell you some interesting facts about places. Last night when I saw that snow falling I knew I'd be going to central London to document it because this is the very first time I see snow in London. There is no a lot of snow throughout the year in London, however freezing temperatures are not uncommon and snow is not unheard of. Be sure to pack a winter coat along with a hat, gloves and scarf when you're coming to London. No way, there will be more coming today. Sorry? I'm sure there will be more coming today. I hope so. I The good thing about London is, if you know it, the all attractions are actually within walking distance, to be honest. No. What I mean is the main attractions of the central London are within walking distance. Anyway, for me, I'm a walker. Brr. So first, I will take you to Trafalgar Square, which is just over there. We are close to Trafalgar Square, which is a very picturesque square, just around the corner. Welcome to Trafalgar Square. Every year there is a Christmas market here. You can buy warm wine and other Christmas specialities. The Christmas tree each year is a gift from Norwegian government. The tradition is in honor of Britain's involvement in assisting Norway during the Second World War. A famous square is named after the Battle of Trafalgar, one of the Britain's most famous military victories. There used to be thousands of pigeons here, but they got rid of them, but you can still see them in all photographs. The column in the center is dedicated to Lord Nelson, a naval commander who led British troops to win the Battle of Trafalgar. Trafalgar Square's lions are crafted from bronze, reclaimed from melted cannons. Let me take you to another place. Yes, this is the Piccadilly Circus. And it's called like that because some time ago, a man that used to sell so-called Piccadels, which are the collars the, for like a noble English man a couple of hundred years ago. I know you know what it looks like. And uh, he lived nearby and people called this place as a Piccadilly Hill. And uh, why circus? It's not because there was a circus here, but because it's roundabout, it's circular. So that's why circus, Piccadilly Circus. You may not know, but when you look at the neons, they read you and they will display an advertisement that will go along with your mood. I don't know why I only saw a Coca-Cola advert. So yes, folks, this is London. The temperatures hardly ever fall below minus here. But this is quite a severe winter. I'm sure Mr. Putin is happy about it. And by the way, this monument is dedicated to people who fought in Crimea. Yeah, Britain had wars all over the world. And probably each square is dedicated to the victims of those wars. My friends, I'm taking you to the Buckingham Palace and I hope I will get there. By the time I'll be there, the snow will be still there because it's melting. Uh, very quickly. London is beautiful and the winter in it. This is the St. James's Park. St. James's Park is in central London but, and it's surrounded by three palaces, including the Buckingham Palace, where the king lives now. I don't think the king was in because I didn't see the flag. If you see the Union Jack above the Buckingham Palace, that means the monarch is actually in the building right now. You see that island on the middle of that pond? A couple of years ago, they discovered a skeleton there. It belonged to an American man 
who was obsessed with the queen and he lived there on that island and died there and they only found the body three years later. That used to be a zoo as well and you can see still parrots flying around. I think that the Henry VIII brought them here. Uh, there were always tons of people in the park but I was able to find a snowman that I think wanted to resemble the queen. about you but for me snow gives me that positive vibrations if you know what I mean I actually like it I think it's time for some spirits got up at six o'clock just to make sure you saw the London snow hurry up because every minute there is less and less snow it's literally melting in your eye I've just noticed you can buy Christmas trees in actually churches the Church of England is officially selling Christmas tree are they taxed or not that's a question here how much are your Christmas trees? 12 to 15 a foot, mate. All right, so this is not actually the, the church business. I was like, oh, the church is selling the Christmas yeah, no, trees. the church gets money from these. All right, money from right, these. cool. To how much? They're all different prices, mate. Little ones, 20 pound, big ones, uh, 175s, these ones, all different prices. So the cheapest is what? Uh, 20 quid. 20 quid for this. Are you after a tree? We are here with... Darren, young man. Right, and you are selling Christmas trees, right? Where are you? We're on Eaton Square. Belgrave, yeah, SW1W 9AL. Right. And that's St Peter's Church there, one of the finest churches in Westminster. That's not a Roman, is it? No. No. But it's a beautiful church. Go and have a look inside. Yeah. It's, it's worth a visit. Yeah, it's a nice church. There is always some kind of uh, singing going on. It's worth visiting just to get warm in the worst place and to send a little prayer if you want to. Oops, an accident in London. That can happen very easily. Since we are here, I want to show you uh, what is the heating system in London about. It's all about gas. Gas from probably North Sea or Russia. I'm sure Putin is happy to see that cold winter in London. Yes, folks, most of the heating in London is gas-based. There's a lot of electric heating going as well, but the main source is still gas. And yet another Jaguar. Very close to Victoria Coach Station, you can see the homeless people in the streets of London. As I said, there's more than 600 sleeping rough every single night. Seeing all this about snow lasting only one day in London, snowing again now so who knows we might have a meter tomorrow Brr. imagine going in that open decker bus now mm, i don't fancy it and your narrator is saying goodbye to you now and i pass the voice to vlogger zupa himself thank you there we go do you see my train there because i see it i've got 20 minutes to kill so this is the victoria train station one of the biggest stations in London itself and this is where I catch my train and you know what you can even get drinking water here is that not brilliant the next time your boy vlogger Zupa how many times I said that already well thanks for watching and I hope to see you again I don't think there will be much snow in London then but let's hope so till next time your favorite vlogger on YouTube vlogger Zupa and please remember to subscribe, and like it and comment. Without you, I'm nobody. Thank you. I hope you appreciate that I got up for you so early. And you will do subscribe me this time. From London, Vlogger Zupa. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Well, goodbye, London. And I'll see you later. And next time I take you to this wonderland in Hyde Park. And you will be amused over there as well. Because it's all like uh, Christmas lights and all that. 
uh, supposed to be like the biggest attraction.